Hi, I'm Dr. Chris Walton, and in this short video, you're gonna see me testing a client's subconscious mind. So Tom is a business owner, and he's been using affirmations for the last six months. So every morning and every night, he does these affirmations. He says these positive affirmations to himself. And he came to my practice to find out, are they actually working? Are these affirmations, what he's actually repeating to himself, are they actually going into his subconscious mind? So we're testing his subconscious to find out, are those affirmations integrated into the subconscious or not? Let's see what happened. One of the things I do regularly every morning and evening is I do affirmations or where I read a small paragraph or line to try and um, download information into my subconscious. So I'm also here today with Chris Walton to see if these affirmations are set into my subconscious uh, and if they're not, if he has any techniques and abilities that can help me get these affirmations into my subconscious to help me for the future. I have the power to create all the success and prosperity I desire. I believe this 100% and hold. Okay, so we have a block to that, right? So, how many times would you say you have done that as an affirmation? Uh, it's twice a day for the last six or so months. All right, <clears throat> so twice a day for the last six months, so you've said that at least probably 350 times. Easy. As an affirmation, these are Tom's affirmations here that he's been using prior to coming here for this session. The first one is, I have the power to create all the success and prosperity I desire. When he says that, that's a block. That's not any subconscious. In fact, it's the opposite. That's actually creating a stress response in the body. That's using affirmations twice a day for six months. So at least 350 times he's said that, and it's gone nowhere. Let's uh, sort that out in 60 seconds. Okay, one ankle over you there. Deep breath in. And as you breathe out, uncross your arms, uncross your legs, and relax. It was quick. What was it again that let you know your body's got it? Same thing? Yeah, this weird feeling of just like absolute calmness. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Let's see. Okay, my name is Tom. My name is Tom. And hold. My name is Rachel. My name is Rachel. Perfect, okay. I have the power to create all the success and prosperity I desire. I believe this 100%. And hold. And now we have zero resistance to that. So that's <clears throat> six months at twice a day, and it's not in the subconscious, which is something I've talked about for quite a while about affirmations not programming your subconscious because affirmations don't create the peak brain state that you need to get into your subconscious. You create the peak brain state here by doing what's called the gamma mindset, and you can see how quickly that's integrated into the subconscious because it creates the peak brain state to do so. When you create the high gamma and theta, you've got an instant access and you just download it into your subconscious. And as we see the test after, now zero resistance. So. so I've been doing affirmations now for the last six months and it's probably taken me roughly around 25, 30 minutes a session uh, every morning, every evening before I go to bed. And that would probably accumulate to around about 7,000 minutes or so. Quite a long time. And from what I've learned with Chris today, that not all my affirmations have gone in. In fact, most of them have not gone into my subconscious, which is uh, <laughs> quite disappointing to be fair. But the, the Gamma Mind technique is, is such a relaxing feeling that I know now that I can actually have this, these beliefs completely set in my subconscious so that I can use them in my day-to-day -day life. So I'm thoroughly impressed with the Gamma Mindset technique and uh, I look forward to the future. Thank you.